Hey guys, take a look at the video for guys. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to fix your iPhone if you're getting screen flickering or glitching. Now, this happens from time to time. Sometimes it's hardware related, sometimes it's software related. In this video, we're going to mostly discuss the software related issue, but potentially if you follow these steps and if you can't still fix it, most likely it's hardware related issue. In that case, we'll tell you how to go about that as well. So let's get started. So whenever you're having this screen flickering issue, the very first thing you want to do is go ahead and try to force restart your iPhone. So in order to do that, it's going to be really simple. You're going to press and release the volume up, press and release the volume down, and then hold the side button until the screen goes completely black and you see the Apple logo at that time and let go of that button and the phone will be forced restart. So in order to do that volume up, volume down, I press and hold the side button after that and I'm going to wait till the screen goes completely black here and then you should see the Apple logo and then you'll let go of that button. So as you can see here, it's still shutting down, shutting down, and then the Apple logo will appear and then I let go of that button. Now this method will work on iPhone 8 and above. If you have iPhone 7 or 7 Plus, you'll want to hold the side or the power button and the volume down button until the screen goes completely black and the Apple logo reappears. Now if you have iPhone 6 or older model, you want to hold the top button and the home button at the same time to do the same thing. So as you can see here, this method is really safe to do. After you do that, you should be able to resolve the screen flickering and glitching if you're having the issue right there. Now, this method will not delete any of your personal data, so all of your photos, videos, apps will be there. Now, let's say it still didn't work. The next troubleshooting step you wanna do is go into your setting of your iPhone, and this time we're gonna go on to accessibility. Under accessibility, there's gonna be a bunch of options here, but you wanna go to display and text size, under display and text side, we want to do a couple things here to check out. First thing we're going to do is turn off auto brightness and see if that resolves that issue for you. Now, if it doesn't, the other two settings that you want to try to play around with is reduce transparency. You want to go ahead and turn that on so it reduces the transparency and blur on some background and it can help with the screen flickering if it's a minor thing. And then the other setting along with that you want to test out is reduce white point as well. These two settings at this level should try to help you resolve. You can mess around with the level, see if that help your screen as well. Now it's something to try out. It might or may not work, but I see for some of our phones that sometimes if that happens, you turn these two on. For some time, it should help you fix any sort of flickering that you're getting. Now the other thing that you want to do after you have done that is this is going to be a little bit related to the Photos app and the Camera app. Let's say when you open up the Camera app or the Photos app itself, you're getting screen flickering. In that case, you want to go into your settings and then you want to go find the camera settings. So here, as you can see here, we're going to look for in the main settings here for the camera app, which is going to be down here. And then after you do that, you want to see a couple things here. Oh, basically, in this settings here, you want to go to, let's go ahead and take a look at formats here. And then if you have Pro Raw, I'm going to turn that off, and Pro Res as well. Those two, you want to have those turned off to make sure that they are not interfering with your settings of your iPhone and then after you have done those go ahead and check to see if that it fixes the issue for you and it might fix it might not again one thing to go ahead and check out on your settings here and the other thing along with that is your HDR video so HDR photos and videos you want to try to turn it off and turn it on as well for mine it's obviously fixed but try between those two see if that help you fix the issue for you. Same with any sort of, any other uh, settings along with the HDR. You want to try to get away from HDR, auto HDR basically. It doesn't interfere with your photos and the cameras app. Now after you have done that, the next thing you want to do is to ensure that your phone has enough storage. And for some reason, when your phone, iPhone gets full of storage, all sort of software related issue can occur. To check your uh, storage, you go into your settings, general, and then there's a iPhone storage option here. And the key here is to ensure that you have free space available. As you can see, I'm using 20 gig out of 128 gig. Let's say you're maxed out. Maybe I'm using 128 gig out of 128 gig. You want to try to delete some apps, some photos, videos usually take up a lot of space. If you can delete some of that, that should clear up some space and hopefully fix any issues causing with the screen itself. Now, after you have done that and you're having issues, let's say you're having issues maybe on a particular app, and this happens time to time, maybe you downloaded an app or it's a new app, 
and it, every time you open it up the issue is only happening on the app itself what i recommend doing is deleting and reinstalling that app as a way to see if that kind of fixes the issue in order to do that let's say i have roblox here for example i'll click on remove and then delete app i'm going to go ahead and delete it and then go back to app store here all right go to app store and then you're going to go ahead and search for the app that you deleted of course and then you go ahead and reinstall it like you would with any app by clicking on that get button and install and after we reinstall hopefully a new version of the app is out where if it's having any issues in the past and now it's fixed for you and you're good to go now after you have done that and you're still having issues the next thing you want to do is go into your setting of your iphone go to general software update and see if there's an update available sometimes the phone might need to be updated in that case you want to go ahead and download the latest update itself give yourself half an hour to 45 minutes for the update to happen you want to be connected to either power source of at least 50 percent or more charge and make sure you're connected to good strong wi-fi or cellular data so you can do the update successfully and after you have done the update and you're still having issues next thing you want to do is in your settings you're going to go to general all the way down here it says transfer reset iphone click on the first option to reset and we're going to try to reset all of the settings again to see if it's a setting that could be impacting the glitching of your iphone so in that case you would do the first option to reset all settings now this will reset things like your network related settings so if you had saved wi-fi or bluetooth connected devices you will have to reconnect them again any keyboard a dictionary will get reset any custom home screen layout will get reset and any location or privacy setting will get reset again will help when it comes to fixing any screen flickering or glitching after you have done, done that and it still hasn't working the one of the very last thing you can do is back up your phone do a factory reset and then restore it again that method takes a little bit more time which we discuss in another video we'll leave it in the description section or the comment section so check that video out on how to do that and after you have done all of that it's still not working most likely it's going to be an issue with the hardware the display if you recently fell or something happened to or it hit into it it could be that you have to replace the screen in that case you need to take it to the apple store and they can help you fix it so i hope this video was helpful if so please make sure to like and subscribe button thanks for watching guys see you guys next time